everybody and welcome back to Sticks and Stones. This is me showing you how to get some depth when you start carving a flat surface. This right here is going to be part two. And we might as well make this a series, guys, because it's going to be a couple videos. Uh, I, what I have here is where we left off and I switched to the Cutsall Extreme Tapered Burr. And I'm going to start getting a little bit more depth and putting some skin folds in and take some wood out from underneath there and we're going to try and make this guy a little bit more interesting and uh i think i'm definitely going to end up making this a santa claus okay so i'm going to use this pointy bit to try and dig in a little bit more and reshape get a little bit more finer tuned And I'll try to do this whole thing with power, and at the end, what I'll do is I will get uh, maybe some hand tools out, maybe not. Maybe I'll just try to do the whole thing with power for you guys, so you get to see, you know, yes, it can be done. But if I want to make them really nice, I do like to get my hand tools, like I said, in many videos of mine. But uh, you can shape out the nose pretty good with just power, though. Uh, just poking a little hole with the mouth. This bit right here is a lot pointier, so you can fine-tune some things and we're going to start digging this back now to get this thing to really start shaping i'm going to cut some lines about where i want the beard to be uh, the way i want the beard to be shaped so you'll see me start going around this back so the, the back of the carbon also because that's how we're going to get this whole piece that was flat into more of a 3d type carving okay now, it's not going to be carved on the very back, but I will go off the sides and carve towards the back. So that way we can end up with the uh, wood carving that's just not stuck into the wood, but actually from the sides you'll be able to see a lot of detail also. And I'm just taking it down a little bit more, trying to get a little bit more depth. When we get underneath, we're going to have to figure out a, a little hat on this guy if we want to make him look like a Santa Claus and it's probably going to take quite a while like I said for me to do this if I'm not fast forwarding through the video and trying to explain everything to you guys now this dip the, this bit right here is really good for getting that depth so that's about the shape I'm going to want the beard I'm not really going to want all that extra wood on the sides but uh, we'll see how it goes I might, uh, might change that might not we're definitely going to have to figure out something on top here, so uh, let's, let's start putting a line across the top here so we can figure out where we want to make a hat on this guy. So I'm just going to put a line straight across here for now. There we go. I was thinking about uh, Jess Carve Rob up there in Michigan. I guess he's getting whacked pretty good with a snowstorm right now. I'm glad that hasn't hit here yet. Uh, I'm definitely not looking forward to shoveling or plowing. One big mess. But, uh, so we're hoping everything's okay up there for you, Rob. Stay warm. Everyone in the carbon community is sending you warm, fuzzy feelings. Keeping your toes dry. <laughs> and, uh... Hope everything's okay and you're making a lot, of, a lot of money up there plowing. What I'm going to do after I cut that line here is shave the wood from the bottom up. Because I'm trying to give myself a, an idea of uh, about where I want to be and how much wood I want to save uh, to actually put the fur on his hat. And we'll, you know, put some cups of hair underneath that and everything. I already got one cup started on the left side there, you can see. Let's try this up a little bit here. We'll have to dig underneath that pretty good. We want the appearance of this stuff being underneath, so we gotta take wood out. Okay, so it's coming, be coming out from under this hat. But yeah, if I don't fast forward through these videos, you know, there'll probably be three or four in this series. Finishing this guy. If it starts getting too long, I'll fast forward some things and always give you a, a voiceover. But uh, hopefully, you'll be able to see everything we're doing. 
Uh, my lights are flashing. I got one light flickering here in my shop. So, uh, sorry about that. I'm trying to take care of that as we go. Time to replace my overhead lights in the shop. Hey, but at least we can carve inside for the winter now, so expect a lot of videos. I'll be able to sit here and do this. I'll be able to do drawing. Cleaned a little bit behind me, so I actually have some room. I'm just going to go around with this pointy bit here and keep refining, keep digging a little bit deeper. A little slow. I want some nice big bushy eyebrows that kind of overhang his eyes. All we did was put uh, the spots we're going to do his eyes, but he already looks like he has eyes. Right? He really hasn't worked on the outside. Now right here again, what I'm going to do is start putting some deeper lines in. Again, they're not set in stone. I'm going to change all this up. I just like carving deep and getting some of this wood off. Uh, again, this guy's pretty thick. See that stuff just fall right off once I make some deep lines. Because I am going to have to take a lot of wood off and shape him on the sides. So, in order to really get him to carve all the way around, I'm going to have to be digging pretty deep and then get some of this wood off and doing it this way. It's a little slower. I mean, I'd take a hand tool or I would take a big power tool like a grinder and do it, but since I'm making videos and I'm inside and I'm showing you guys the process, we're going to do it all by hand, which is, you know, a longer process, but you'll get the idea of exactly what I'm doing. I can even dig with this pretty good. These, that's all extreme bits are pretty tough, you know? So you can get pretty good if you hold on the side there and you can use them sometimes to hog out some wood. This, this bit's a little thinner than the that's all extreme flame burr, but while it's in my hand, I'll use it for wherever I can. Alright, that side's not too bad. Let's try and clean this side up a little bit. And that's probably the kind of shape we're going to go with the beard. We might even just have some tufts of hair around that. Uh, to see as we go how much I want to take off. That'll be a tough to hair there. Start working that over towards the side a little. And of course we got to round that down. I'm trying to keep this in the camera. Sometimes it's hard to hold it and actually angle it so the dust goes down, especially when I have to hog out wood. I want it to definitely go down the holes and not have a big cloud in my face. But I will try to keep everything in the camera so you guys can see. Just to kind of hook that mustache up a little too because you don't want a sad look at Santa, so even by just Taking that mustache and making it curl up a little bit will make him look a little happier than the av average, like, somber-looking wood spirit if uh, keep his mustache down. So we want our happy Santa. We don't want a depressed Santa. We want him kind of joyful. He's not super ecstatic, but he's definitely not a sad Santa. something with that mustache and get some detail in too. I really like insinuating wrinkles and different bags. Any place I can stick another wrinkle or crow's feet around his eyes, I really try to look at the carving, go over it, and try to add as many as I can without messing them up too bad, you know. Sometimes less is more, of course. But any places you can raise the eyebrows or make a wrinkle, give him an extra fold of skin somewhere, definitely makes him look a lot more interesting, right? And of course, the depth. Try to dig in, get shadows where you can. You can always use a sanding drum or just sanding by hand. But focus on just putting some lines in for now, and then we'll worry later about where we should take wood off to make them look more natural. 
I'm going to dig in the corners here a little bit and get a little bit more depth to the eyes. And I'll just put two holes here. And now, boom, we've got some eyes. Now we can clean those up and make them a lot more realistic later. I'm just shave them down and shape them a little here. Not really doing a, a lot of work on the eyes, if you notice. I know eyes are trouble for a lot of people, but you can keep them pretty simple and still have a pretty good look. Taking some wood out here, still shaking my nose a little. I'll just keep going around it and refining it. Just coming up with the basics of what I'm going for. And, uh, and we'll clean them up later. And of course, when we paint them, we can really make a whole big difference uh, in the looks. I kind of hate to paint cottonwood bark, but if you're making Santas and you paint them, they, there's no mistake in their Santas then. Okay. Because the color of the cottonwood bark, I don't even like to stain it. I, I like to leave it natural. It's that tawny brown look. Uh, it's just so natural. I really love the color of cottonwood bark. Once you carve it. So very rarely do I put finishes on my bark. And again, this was just a scrap piece. So. Let's see what we come up with. If we can make them interesting enough. And. Somebody will get them for Christmas or just take them in their house and hang them up. I wasn't really focused on a Santa right in the beginning, so I gotta try and paint them like a Santa. I'm gonna try and undercut some of this. Maybe we'll make his beard a little bit fuller. I'm gonna keep some flow going as far as the way the lines are gonna go. And you'll see, I'll take all this down even more because I'm gonna want that mustache to stand out. Once I start carving around the back, you'll see that I'll probably cut all that off. So. Oops, I want to get away from me there. Again, digging in. Still trying to figure out what to do for a hat. I'm going to have to get a big bit out maybe go off camera for a grinder because it will just take forever trying to do it all with the Dremel but I'm going to have to shake that hat a little bit and get some of that wood off the top part of the hat uh, this part right here is easy that's just going to be the fur and the way I would do the fur is I would poke a bunch of holes probably with this bit and I'll just poke a bunch of holes in the, the hat and that will insinuate fur you know once I get the hat going and I have it wrapped around and looking the way I want. That's how I would make the fur on the hat. I just use this same bit and just poke a bunch of holes into the bark, keep them all close together, and it will give it an effect that looks like fur. Especially once you paint it and give it a little shape. Okay, we're around in here. Trying to smooth some of that hat in. Lines. We'll break the mustache up a little bit here. I don't want him to look too boring. And like I said, we can clean all this up later. We'll take more wood out from underneath it. And uh, we have so much wood here because it's a nice thick piece. I mean, I could really just carve on this for a couple of days if I wanted to. Or I can make it quick and paint it and still make a nice little cool Santa Claus. So it depends on how much work you want to put into a piece. But they're always good for content for you guys to watch and hopefully get some ideas from. And dig in here. Again, never be afraid to get some nice deep cuts and deep lines, especially when you're framing the face. In the place you want to stick a better shadow and have that stand out definitely carve deeper don't be afraid especially if you have a lot of wood you can always recut you can always re uh, carve big thing on this guy is 
it was very flat, like I said, so I'm going to have to get the depth by working around the back of the card and around to the back and going deeper and deeper and try not to lose everything I already have parked in. That's why I'm going slow. Not really uh, blasting anything out with bigger bits. And it's actually just kind of fun to just sit here and play and look at it and say, oh, maybe I'll do this, oh, maybe I'll do that. I'm going to try and wrap this hat around the back now. Get that line a little bit started a little bit more. And see if we can get some kind of hair coming out of it on that side too. Okay, I'm going to have to figure out something with that hat. See, now my light's really flickering. But, uh, see how the beard right there is all starting to shape and form? Let's see if uh, we can start adding some more hair. And I'll have some hair actually behind that. So I'm going to start taking some of this wood off and breaking it up. Yeah, that light flickering is driving me crazy. Well, after this little... After this clip, I'll try and uh, adjust that light. It did stop for a while, so... Now it's starting up again. Probably because my vacuum is running and I'm taxing uh, my electric a little too much in the shop, I guess. I do have a bad bulb, though. It's one, one of those ones that... Uh, one of the old overhead lights, you know, those shop lights. And it's flickering because i got to stand up and probably turn the bulb. <laughs> So here what I'm doing is I'm just breaking up more of this wood because I am going to have to shape that beard. I'm going to have to get a lot of this off, but I'd like to see what I can do. So I'll start putting detail on it as I'm carving it deeper and go around and whatever falls off, I let it fall off. If I can poke through like on the sides there, I like that look. I can like get some air behind some of those cuts. So I try and go deep and I said, whatever breaks off afterwards, I'll let it break off, and then I'll probably take all of this stuff here underneath the mustache and the lip, and I'll try to pull that down and, and cut a lot of that off and get it to be even eventually with the, the cuts I was making on the side. So. But it's okay to have different levels. That's what's going to make them interesting. And you never know when we're done that we actually just carved him out of a flat piece of wood. Which is the whole idea for these videos uh, in this series. Taking something flat and making them not flat. <laughs> I'm going to try and break some up here. Eventually I'll carve right underneath. And the idea is to round everything off and like I said, make it look like we actually started with something that was not flat at all. Yeah, I'll probably be deepening this stuff and taking it down even more. All those little cuts have to break that wood off now. The time comes that I want to go deeper and blend it in to whatever I have to do on the sides. just shut off. I'll have to be going to get propane for that soon. It's going to get awful cold in here. Let's try to get some texture on this tuft of hair. And break this up. So I'll try to use this bit as much as I can before I have to go switch bits again. The, the next bit I'll go to is probably going to be the Fatal Extreme Flame Burr. I'm going to try and shape that hat, but I'm going to need a bigger bit to take off more wood, and then I'll do uh, a lot of carving around the sides with that too, because it will remove a lot more wood than this one. This one's good for digging and getting some depth though, so I'll see what I can do while it's in my hand. Just keep going and get it done, you know? Always looking for more places I can clean up, get a little more wood out, get a little more shadow, 
break some things apart. I like doing the mustache. I like to go right off the mustache and go underneath it. That'll break the mustache up a little bit. And we'll just look like straight across and see how I'm putting little holes there and breaking the mustache up. That way it looks like it, he has a little bit more tough tufts of hair, not just a, a line that I carve straight across, you know. Anything to break it up, make him look more interesting. I wonder how I'm going to blend that beard in with this here. That's either going to all come off, or I'm going to end up blending it all in and try to shape it around. I don't know yet. We'll see how it goes. See how much wood I have left, which is plenty right now. I'm not too worried. I'm just trying to get some of this tough stuff off. See all the little lumps I like to make. I'll make a uh, try to make it as interesting as I can and not just have straight lines. I'll, I'll put bumps, circles, regular cuts. And then I can always run hand tools or another carving bit or even this one and then shape the hair in the direction whatever way I want to go. But I think in groups, not really individual pairs. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. So that's going to be part two, and we'll see what we can do in the next part. Join me for part three in the next video, and thanks for watching.